Weather Words is a production of The Reporter, Delaware County's leading news source. Good day to everyone. Here it is, the 22nd of May, and it's better. I mean, if you look last week when we were getting all those horrible temperatures in the 30s, it turns out since the last time I spoke with you, which was Thursday, we've had mornings in the 40s. That's a whole lot better as far as I'm concerned, especially after that 21 a week ago, which was terrible. Anyway, we have something behind us we haven't had in a long time. It's called fog. And we'll take that too, because it is delivering a little bit of moisture to the ground. Unfortunately, when most of the state was drowning in that horrible rainstorm, including the big golf match over in Rochester and all the other things that were happening, we got one-tenth of one inch of rain. I call it dust settling. The grass said thank you. But you know what? We are seriously short for this month. I mean, daytime temperatures have been better. We had 62. We had a 68. We had a 66. But it's also been quite windy. And nothing dries things out faster than a wind. But normal for the month of May, four and a half inches. What do we have? One and one quarter. So we're way, way behind. And it looks like in the week that's up and coming, we might get something on Wednesday. But there's nothing through the whole weekend that's up and coming. So we're going to have a very short month because May ends three days after that. So this will be a short month because there's nothing predicted that's heading in our direction that's going to be anything more than maybe a thunderstorm or a shower. Can we tolerate that? Yeah, as long as it doesn't last for a real, real long time. I have said in the past that we're 15 years past when we were supposed to have a drought. We haven't. We've had years now, and I mean more than 10 of them, where we've had over 50 inches of rain. And in some cases, two of those years, we had over 60 inches of rain. So we're not short yet. The only bad thing about this one is, this is the growing season where everything's sucking water out of the ground, including if you planted grass seed or you planted any kind of stuff in your garden. I will also let you know Wednesday night and Thursday night, we're probably going to drop back into the upper 30s. So I don't think we'll get a frost. They're not predicting that. But just in case, keep the covers handy one more time, just in case. So what's going to happen today? 70. What's going to happen the rest of the week, except for those two cold mornings? Keep it in the upper 60s into the 70s. In fact, on Wednesday, we might hit 80. Again, I wish the weather would make up its mind. It's We're past that time of change. Let's make it spring and keep it there. That's my hope anyway. My lettuce is sprouting. My cabbage looks great. The horrible weather didn't affect my broccoli. That's looking wonderful. I'm still holding off on planting anything else. There is an old saying, don't plant your tomatoes and things until after Memorial Day. Well, that's this coming weekend. And then we'll see what happens. So good weather is coming. And like I said, we'll take this compared to a week ago. Have a good one. To subscribe or advertise, call 607-464-4009.